going, Adel Adventurers? It's your very greatest YouTuber in the whole damn universe and multi-universe, otherwise known as Adel. Woo! Well, I don't know if you guys have noticed, so some of the biggest Call of Duty YouTubers of all time have pretty much quit Call of Duty. At least for this year. I don't know what's happening next year. I don't imagine they're coming back. And I think Call of Duty World War II with Infinity Ward and just the last few Call of Duties have pretty much ended the series. I knew it was coming to an end sooner or later, but when people on YouTube have stopped uploading Call of Duty, and especially the biggest channels on YouTube for Call of Duty, have quit the genre, moved on other games like Fortnite and Rainbow Siege. Siege 6, Rainbow Six Siege. I think it's Rainbow Six Siege, Rainbow Siege 6. I think I said it backwards. I played a game a few times, I got wrecked, my feelings got hurt, and I had to go to psychological counseling to get over it, and I haven't played it since. All right, so first of all, the news I need to break to you guys is that Activision has hired Michael. I love everybody. Conjury to be the vice president of Activision, my friends. I don't know what kind of oversight he's going to have on Call of Duty from now on. He did say in a post that he's looking forward to exploring other games. So maybe they thought, hey, you messed up Call of Duty so bad, you no longer can make games for Sledgehammer. Here's a vice president position. Here's a nice paycheck. Now go play over in the corner with the Play-Doh and Legos and leave us adults and the people who know what we're doing, like David Bondahar for Treyarch, to making Call of Duty games. And Infinity Ward, actually, because Infinite Warfare wasn't that bad of a game. It's just the boots flying around, spaceships and stuff that people didn't like. The game itself, it played pretty damn well and i also enjoyed the loot system we're going to call it the salvage system which wasn't so bad to getting guns as well so hey maybe the next game 2019 also confirmed modern warfare 2 is going to be coming out if you didn't know that you better dab on them haters dab so the point of this video though is to showcase and show you how all these call of duty youtubers and call of duty itself on youtube and perhaps maybe in the world until black ops 4 i don't know if it could recover from this devastation that the sledgehammer game studios has put upon the call of duty community of nuked the game sort of uh speaking so here is a poll that i put Put out February 13th a couple weeks ago asking people are you still playing COD World War II? 1,387 people I voted. That's a pretty substantial amount of people to respond and I gave it yes a lot, yes a few times a week, barely at all, not at all. And what is that? 79% of people are basically playing it barely or not at all. Only 21%, look how fast I did the mass, 21% play at least a lot or a few times a week. So 80% rounding up Barely play at all or not playing at all. Now this parlays into other Call of Duty YouTubers quitting the game and moving on to other genres, more like Fortnite and also Rainbow Six Siege, like I said, who gave me psychological PTSD. So the first channel we're going to look at here is Optic Scump. Oh, hey, yo, what is on everybody? It's your favorite ginger here. Now he hasn't uploaded a video in over a month. And this guy is the face of Optic and the face of MLG. The guy has not uploaded, that's his whole job, is playing Call of Duty. And he has not uploaded a Call of Duty video, or even a video for that matter, in over a month. The next big Call of Duty YouTuber who's the number one pub stomper in the world is Mark of J. If you go to Mark of J's channel, we will see that this guy has not uploaded a video in over a month as well. He was actually quit playing COD World War II. You know, I did a video on that where I reacted about how he was showcasing and telling everybody why the game sucks and why he won't play it. And I also, you know, put in my two bits. That was a long time ago. So he hasn't played since then. And that's been, you know, two months after launch, a month after launch. He went back to Black Ops 3 and completely hasn't uploaded in over a month as well. And this is his main source of income. He has 1.2 million subscribers. Also, we look at the biggest ones of all too. Let's look at Hollow Point. Hollow Point is one of the biggest Call of Duty YouTubers out there. And if you go to his channel, we will also see that he does not even upload Call of Duty really anymore. We have to go through. Look at that. It's all freaking Fortnite, 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 uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Ah, it's yeah! Rainbow, where the hell is a call? There's a Call of Duty field. 2018 Black Ops 2. Uh, new weapon update. Uh, Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. Jeez, he's uploading more UFC than he is Call of Duty. Uh, prop hunt on Call of Duty, I guess. Finally, one million subscribers. Blah, blah, blah. So as you can see, barely any Call of Duty there whatsoever. I pretty much moved away from Call of Duty. We can go look at Chaos Top 10 Silencer who kind of always quit Call of Duty to be honest and moved on to doing his Top 10 stuff. But Chaos Silencer, let's do Chaos. I think it's just Chaos now, right? Yeah, it's just Chaos. He got rid of the Silencer part. Old school OG individuals like me will remember him forever as Chaos <laughs> Silencer aka Jimmy. Now, if you go look at his videos, uh, Gears of War, Fortnite, Hoverboard, Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. 
not very much Call of Duty, if any, in here whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And he's never really had that much Call of Duty to begin with since, you know, the last few years. He's been slowly moving away from that. Now, the next guy was the biggest Call of Duty YouTuber in the world. He got the most views on Call of Duty. And we all know the Ali A, the greatest hair plug looking United Kingdom sexual superstar with a lined up beard making that face like he's goddamn somehow won $25 million, always wearing a hat because he didn't get his hair plants and hair plugs quite done properly. But as you can see, we all know he has gone completely to Fortnite. He does not do Call of Duty at all anymore. But the last but not least, and the cherry on the top, and the creme de la creme, and the gaping and the anal Avenger video championship next level 360 wide no scope. Just happened to find a website with my best friend Brock. I won six thousand dollars and bought myself a gay blue Jeep. Hey, what's going on, guys? A thoughts here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at my baby. <laughs> is of course my favorite and your favorite t martin and we look at his channel right now and this guy barely uploads call of duty whatsoever don't judge i'm subscribed to him i gotta keep track of this guy I gotta let him know what he's doing but as you can see you know what barely three weeks three weeks one month ago you know a couple of videos a month sort of just keeping the channel going a little bit maybe hoping for black ops 4 to be a big banger and maybe he'll resume his channel but as of now look at this like it's it's barely uh even being run here guys there's there's not much going on but here is where we want to get to. Now, we'll see what he's actually been doing. And we're going to take a look at T. Martin number two. And this is where the shit gets wild, son. This has never had any Call of Duty on it. It's nothing to do with Call of Duty. It's all Fortnite and other kind of games. But this is where I want to show you guys why he doesn't care about Call of Duty anymore. On his second channel, come over here. Watch the arrow. Follow me. That is his monthly income. That is the estimate. That can be a little bit low. Usually it's a bit higher. But that is the how much money he's taking in a month. That's not $56. That is $56,000 a month on his second channel. His main channel, he's making $4,127 from Call of Duty. That's his main channel. He's given up on it. His secondary channel, once again... As we can see, it has nothing to do with Call of Duty, mostly all Fortnite. You know, a little bit of Cooper Cooper Sunday here, Super Cooper Sunday and all that good stuff. Mostly Fortnite and, uh, you know, other kind of playthroughs, Origins, uh, UFC, Rainbow Six. But as we can see here, he is making $56,000 a month off of his secondary channel. So why would he give a damn about Call of Duty or his first channel, really? Don't blame the guy. They're all making such cash money off of their other channels and playing other games because I know it's sad to say, my friends, as a Call of Duty guy who's been doing Call of Duty and loves Call of Duty, unfortunately, the developers and Michael Condry and the development teams and Activision and their supply drops and their microtransactions and just the game getting old, it's been 10 years, has kind of killed Call of Duty, at least on YouTube. I mean, I know the sales on Call of Duty World War II were huge, but the player base on that right now, it, it's, they're dropped off a damn cliff, man. It's like Thumb on Louise, 1980s reference there. Brad Pitt was in that movie as well. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's a great movie. Watch it with your girlfriend. It's kind of like an action flick, but a chick flick at the same time. You're guaranteed to smash that and crush that puss bush or the anus, anus cavity because we're the anal Avengers up in this biatch. But yeah. As you can see, guys, only guys left doing Call of Duty are like Green Goblin, Scam Boy, Clickbait, I Tan Kid, all these rejects and whatnot who are just clickbaiting and lying and not even doing actual reputable YouTube videos. They're just basically scamming gullible dumb kids and uh, reprobates and children that have access to the internet at the uh, mental health hospital. But other than that, the actual mainstream Call of Duty legit channels, I hate to say legit, but I mean, they do actually are pretty legit. I know I don't like them, you don't like them, but they are legit, um, except for the get paid by Activision to advertise Call of Duty, which they now have quit. But I just want to make this video show and uh, the writing's on the wall. If we go back and take a look at that poll I did a few weeks ago, we can see that pretty much 80% of people just don't even play COD World War II anymore. The Fortnite player base is like 3.4 million people concurrently. It's like 2 million on Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Fortnite and Player Unknown Battlegrounds are number one in two games played on the console as well as PC. And Call of Duty is somewhere in fifth or sixth. On PC, it's like not even in the goddamn top 10, top 20, top 30, top 40, top 50. It's way out there, as we will see right here if I would like me to prove it to you. There is where the most played games are. Actually, what Call of Duty went up. It was behind Ark Survival. But there you go. It's Fortnite. Oh, geez. Rainbow Six Siege has now surpassed Player on Battlegrounds since I looked last week. Grand Theft Auto, then Call of Duty World 2. So it's fifth. I mean, geez. Look at Grand Theft Auto's been out for, what, 25 years and it's still above this game? Uh, wow. Anyways. Just want to throw this quick little video of you together. A little informational video. A little sexual video for you anal adventurers out there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had a great time. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, don't be a doofus. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Actually, I don't care if you hit the like button. It doesn't matter at all. But hey, if you are subscribed, 
Turn on notifications as well, whether that be on your PC desktop or on your uh, mobile phone, which I'm probably sure or your tablet you're watching with, because honestly, YouTube is all jacked up right now. If you actually really do want to see my videos, the best way to actually be able to actually watch them and make sure you see them in your sub box to turn notifications on. And with all that being said, my friends, thank you very much for watching. My name is Ocho Pensamientos. And last but not least, hey, stay black. And don't let the honky cracker reptilian shapeshifter building a moon base harp. They're spraying chemtrails. 9-11 was an inside job. Just Google Tower 7. They're up a Bohemian Grove worshiping owls. Earth is flat. The moon landing was fake. Alex Jones and Bill Hicks. White men. Bring you down. <laughs>